guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So this bad boy is coming to Global Dokkan very, very soon. Um, I think that this Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku is actually going to be a pretty competitive and powerful character. Um, now, I don't want to go too crazy on him like, oh my god, he's like a top 5 LRE or something like that. But I have found real use out of this guy. Um, I think that he's on a lot of category teams where, you know, it certainly could be helpful to have extra options and rainbow orb changing options, right? I mean, look at the amount of teams this guy has, right? So he has, what, um, Pure Saiyan Movie Hero, Goku Family, Super Saiyan, Final Trump Card, Connected Hope, Turtle School, Bond of Friendship, Accelerated Battle, Bond of Parent and Child, Earthbred Fighters, uh, Power of Wishes. We have a thousand teams he's on and many teams like, you know, Connected Hope. Super Saiyans, Final Trump Card, Power Wishes. He's on a bunch of teams for like this orb changing and stuff like that. Can be very helpful. Another extra option can be very helpful. Um, I, I think he's that he's effective and he's a character that does not need to, you know, stack up or get attack or sort of like build up like many characters do. Uh, the trade off for that is, of course, he is a nuking character. So Goku gets 159% attack and defense at the start of turn. He creates, uh, you know, Rainbow Key Spheres randomly. He gets an additional two key per Rainbow Key Sphere, 10% attack and defense per Key Sphere obtained. And then for each Super Saiyan category ally in the same turn besides himself, he gets an additional 7% attack and defense per Key Sphere obtained. Um, and then he gets a 7% chance to crit and 7% damage reduction per Rainbow Orb. So we're on this rotation right here. We're running him on the 8th Anniversary uh, Battle of Fate slash Power Wishes team. This guy does have a lot. He has 9 200% leader skills. AGL, LR, Carnival, Goku. Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta. The GT, Goku, and Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta. The LR, Super Saiyan, Goku, and Vegeta from the Metal Cooler movie. Uh, Dokkan Fest God, Goku. Dokkan Fest Yamcha the Tech DBZ Bardock, and then both Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. This guy's on all of their 200% leader skills, which is really nice. Um, his link set here, Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, Experienced Fighters, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. So he's got a nice little link set on him as well. Um, all right, let's go ahead and see uh, what stats we can get. Um, I guess this would give us three Rainbow Orbs. We get seven Orbs right here, but here we'd get three Rainbow Orbs. I mean, I guess when it comes to just showing off, like, his raw stats and ability, we could just give him the 7, right? Because remember, he's getting 10% attack and defense per key sphere obtained. But um, if, you know, he was going to potentially take a lot of hits or something like that, we probably would want to prioritize the rainbow orbs because with four rainbow orbs, he can get up to 28% damage reduction and crit chance just from the rainbow orbs. I think, if, if anything, the way you could fix this character I, really there's only one change i think he would need and i would probably like him a lot more and that's to buff his damage reduction per rainbow orb from seven percent to fifteen percent i think would actually be very fair I, I i do think so right so it's like with these four rainbow orbs right here he could be at 60% damage reduction, I think would be pretty good. I mean, that would certainly be very strong. Maybe you could tone down his damage a little bit and, and, and trade off. I mean, if they got rid of the crit chance and just made it only damage reduction, I'd like him much better because I do see this Goku mostly as kind of like a support type character, right, with the rainbow orb changing and stuff like that. Uh, so he's at 252k defense. I mean, that's definitely not the greatest ever, right, because he's at 252k both super attacks, he gets 50% attack and defense. Uh, and then on his 18 key, he also lowers enemy attack and defense and seals the enemy super attack. So he is getting a lot of defense from his super attack effects, which is nice. But um, a little bit more defense certainly would be good. It's like he, he's got some sort of tools, I guess, to slow down uh, some attacks and stuff like that. But... A big boss super attack aimed at the Spirit Bomb Goku is is really probably not going to play so well, right? Like, you would be in big trouble if, like, Cell Max or the Metal Cooler Core, one of them decided to super attack this guy. Again, I think giving him a little bit more damage reduction uh, from Rainbow Orbs would have been the elixir for this guy. Um, and take away that crit chance. I mean, Dokkan very heavily values crit chance. You could instantly tell... 
by like the characters that have like you know crits and stuff like that like you could see that dokkan themselves is valuing it valuing it quite highly all right a nine million attack set right there sure remember that goku is going to be getting a lot more stats per orb um, if he has Super Saiyan category allies on the rotation. We're going to get AGL LR Gohan next to Goku because, of course, they will share six out of seven links. Oh, I, I didn't... You know what? I, I looked at Goku's links before we started, but that was Spirit Bomb Goku with seven out of seven links activated because he does share all seven with Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Um, but we're going to be pairing him alongside the... Um, uh, a A G L L R uh, Gohan, of course. All right, so we'll get our orbs for uh, Bulma, which will be good. Um, I probably don't want to go too crazy. I would like to go a little bit slower if we can. Uh, I will give. Well, I mean, I don't need to. I'll just give them twenty four key, whatever. I, I guess I will. Um, I I would like to go a little bit slower so we could kind of you know get some good footage of Goku, but we'll, we'll see how this is gonna go. Um, so I do think it's important to keep expectations in check of this Goku. That I find him, like, a very helpful option. Like, you know, he could be good on some of these teams with the Rainbow Orb chain and changing and stuff like that. But, like, he's not going to be, like, a dominant slot one killer. I feel like they gave him enough, but, again, just a little bit more. Um, and I think he would have been definitely a lot more effective as a character. Um, with just a slight bit of extra sort of uh, damage reduction, again, um, I think is uh, what is going to work uh, very, 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 very well. All right, so Gohan and Goten, they can get their attacks in. Uh, they're another character, powerful character, that's sort of, you know, gotten their easy, that we can kind of pair them um, alongside Spirit Bomb Goku and Agile LR Gohan and stuff like that. These kind of, like, Super Saiyan-type characters. All right, pretty good. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and see what we've got right here. So, again, this is going to be a turn where we're going to have all seven links activated, but, I mean, that's from the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and um, Super Saiyan uh, 2 Vegeta. What is the one link? It's... Yeah, this guy does not have Kamehameha. He has, what is it, Experienced Fighters instead of Kamehameha. That's the one difference for this AGL Goku. All right, so this is... I mean, this is going to be a really good turn. We're going to get 12 orbs, including a lot of rainbow orbs. He's at 226 right here. His defense and his stats should be much higher on this turn. Yeah, 383. See, even one Super Saiyan ally does make him look... Um, quite a bit better right here, for sure. Okay, so, yeah, let's see what uh, attack stat this guy is going to get. Um, you know, if we got more powerful, like, relevant Super Saiyan characters, um, I do think that this would make the Spirit Bomb is Rip Goku a little bit better. But, again, it's important to... This Spirit Bomb Goku, I think, is a perfect example of where, you know, sometimes people overrate guard and damage reduction, they're not actually as good as a lot of people think they are. It's guard and damage reduction plus ridiculously high defense, right? You're going to need stuff like that. 13.9 he gets up to. Remember, at this point, we do have Bulma support activated as well. Uh, remember, that's not an issue, though. If you could run Bulma on the team, you are going to run Bulma on the team. There's never a reason not to run Bulma ever. You always... You always run Bulma. Oh, we could do that, huh? That would be interesting. All right, let's get this. Uh, we could save all those physical orbs and stuff like that right there um, for Spirit Bomb Goku on the next rotation. Next rotation should be pretty good. Let's hope that the GT Anniversary LRs don't go too crazy right here because we, we'll have a lot of orbs lined up for Goku. We're going to have... Um, no, Gohan and Goten, they don't have experienced fighters, right? So we're going to have six out of seven links. I guess that's the one thing is maybe I could have gotten like a, a Super Saiyan with experienced fighters. Who who could that have been? Uh, Well, in LR 3rd Anniversary, Vegito is not on the team. I mean, I guess we could do the 8th Anniversary, you know, GT Vegeta, although he's not a Super Saiyan ally, but it probably would be more beneficial anyway with his support. Uh, I'm just looking for a character that potentially could be on this team. I mean, there there is a lot of, like, Super Saiyan stuff like that. I, I do like this setup that we're rocking right here. A lot of Goku characters have got it. Oh, you know who we could do is we could do the Dokkan Fest God Goku. Uh, yeah, it's important to remember that Dokkan Fest God Goku is on the Super Saiyan category. Er, he is on the Super Saiyan's category, right? That's one really good thing um, about that guy sort of, like, de-transforming from God into Super Saiyan. All right, here we go. 
So that's going to be nine right there we could potentially get. Maybe let me hit this. I, I think that this would potentially get Goku a little bit more orbs, depending upon how they fall. Uh, well, 10. We're at 10 right here. But 10 is still pretty good. So, again, this is uh, Goku, right, with full Super Saiyan lineup. Yeah, he's at 410. See, th this is where he starts to look very good. Always be mindful, though, right? Like, uh, I know a lot of people, when evaluating this character, they will use this turn as their argument. Which, I mean, sure, th this is viable in every difficult fight. I mean, I guess if we're going into, like, the Cell Max fight... This could be tough. Ejil, LR Gohan, all, all these characters could get one shot by Cell Max. Um, but that's why my Spirit Bombs are of Goku. We have the full dodge build. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Because, uh, again, I, I, I view him more as like a support type character. Additional could be good for the Spirit Bomb Goku, though. Because, remember, he, you know, he could be doing good damage. Um, but he also does have, you know, 50% defense with either his 12 or his 18 key super attack, which could be very helpful. But yeah, 410 with another 50% coming is, is is decent right there. With damage reduction as well, he's not horrible. And then here's why Rainbow Orb Changing is so powerful. Because we could have a rotation like this where all three characters full 24 key. Running a lot of Rainbow Orb Changers is definitely a good thing. Don't let anyone tell you differently. I've seen discussion about this lately. Um, you want more Rainbow Orb Changers, not less. <laughs> you want a lot of them. Typically, all the characters are going to be able to eat with Rainbow Orb Changing. 13.6 is what Spirit Bomb Goku gets up to right there. And honestly, I feel like we're good. I We've seen what this guy is capable of doing. Um, you know, defensively, uh, he might struggle a little bit um, depending upon how many rainbow orbs you get him, right? Like, when you're doing one of the big boss fights, you probably would want to, to veer a lot more towards Goku getting... Um, whatchamacallit? Uh, you, you would want to veer... Oh... Do we do that? No. I mean... Hmm. I, I guess... I guess so. I, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this. And I guess next turn, we can get Spirit Bomb to serve Goku along with the GT Vegeta. So we could have a good turn coming up. Sure, let's play this. So we get the huge orb. So now Bulma will be able to just absolutely juice this cell unbelievably. Uh, we can get the GT unit right there. Bam. And then I love, I love easy key. Yeah, Bulma with her active. Uh, yeah, dude. Bulma. Bulma is just way too good, man. I love her. I adore her. Such a, such a W. Dokkan, again, they can release these types of characters as LRs and Dokkan Fest. But they gotta be really good. I think Kale is sufficiently good for a less hype Dokkan Fest. Videl was the god of the game, pretty much, the day she came out, right? So is Bulma. Those are all good. I mean, Super 17 is a major villain, so he's going to get his time in the sun, but he is not good enough. Super 17, for sure, should have been better. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We're not going to be able to get as many orbs as I would like, I don't think, though. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, swap into the GT Vegeta, get the gigantic support going. <laughs> You know, this is interesting. This character probably should be on the Super Saiyan category, right? Shouldn't they be? Am I crazy? Hmm. Yeah, th I mean, this standby, because it's it's Super Saiyan Vegeta, and then Super Saiyan Gohan, Super Saiyan Goten, and Super Saiyan Trunks. I mean, they're all just in Super Saiyan form, aren't they? 
Uh, what is the best bet for orbs here? Damn, this is kind of unfortunate. I mean, we get this really good rotation right here. All seven links activated, but I'm not really too sure uh, if we have a great setup for orbs. And I think every single way I can grab this might kind of be bad. Let, let's hit this. Let's see what this does for us. So we can get five, six. Six isn't really the craziest. I mean, I guess we'll we'll, we'll hit the six right there. Uh, we'll, we'll see what Goku gives us on this turn. We definitely could have been doing a little bit better in terms of the orbs, which probably could have given us more damage. But oh well, oh well. I mean, this is at least a good final turn to get in here. So let me know what you guys think of Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. Um, it, it's definitely very easy to sort of allow him to effectively run on this Power of Wishes team. I do think that potentially having, like, LR Gohan and Goten floating around and then, you know, AJL, LR Gohan, like, you, you can make it work, right? Like, these characters are all powerful enough. You can see that a lot of these easy A's are pretty good, right? Like, these easy A characters are good enough for us to actually, you know, be running them um, in these really competitive, difficult fights, right? So, there's Spirit Bombs Orb Goku. Oh, I guess... I guess we might as well finish the video off. Cell's probably going to super attack right here. So we're just going to finish him with the universal spirit bomb, it looks like. Is that what's going to happen? Uh, no, he did not super attack. Okay, sure. That's fine. Um, all right. So let me... Oh. We can grab that. Let's play this. Th this is another rare one. Could we kill right here? They have done a lot of attacks. Maybe. Ah, no crit for the finisher, but still nice, nice to get that animation in there. We definitely do not mind that at all. So let me know what you guys think of Easy A Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku. I do think he's a very competitive unit. They could have made him a little bit better. Again, it, it would have just been making his damage reduction slightly better is how he could have been improved, right? With a little bit more damage reduction on the Rainbow Orbs rather than crit, he would have been a little bit better. But I, I do find myself using this character here and there. He's definitely helpful. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.